were in the middle of a geomagnetic storm. The energetic cloud that launched off the surface of the sun less than 48 hours ago has arrived. In fact, there was not only one, like the one you see right there, that was the second one that left a huge canyon on the surface of the sun. There was one just prior to that. This only goes back 48 hours, but right there again is the second one that's headed towards the Earth. Looking at the Soho Lasco C2, just prior to the massive eruption that again is Earth directed, there was a comet that entered the field of view and impacted the sun and watch what happens afterwards one two there's the big one that's headed towards the earth that's generating this storm that again just started right now it's a g1 this could get up to a, a g3 and the reason we watch these so close because back in 2003 Here's what happened off the southwestern limb of the sun. This was a solar flare, not a filament eruption. And again, this was 22 years ago. This thing was so strong, they had to estimate the strength, and they're thinking it was probably somewhere in the neighborhood of an X-45. That is unbelievable. And here's what they had to say about the X-45. Again, 22 years ago, if they're directed at the Earth, such flares and associated CMEs can create long-lasting radiation storms that can harm satellites, communication systems, and ground-based technologies, and even power grids. That's the big one. And of course, GPS signals. So if you're navigating a boat, an airplane, your car, we depend on satellites nowadays for internet service, a wide variety of things. So again, that's why we watch this very, very closely. Here's a storm from back in 2003. This was called the Halloween storm as it occurred at the end of October. This too was a massive solar flare right there. And it also had something interesting that entered the field of view right before the huge eruption. Check this out. And it's in the same general location as the comet you just saw. This thing right here. It just looks completely out of place. It appeared, quickly disappeared, and then guess what? One of the largest eruptions ever recorded occurred following the appearance of that thing. Again, it wasn't a comet like you see over here, but many times in the past I've seen comets enter the field of view, dive into the sun just like that, and then following the comet's arrival was a huge eruption. So once again, we're in the middle of a geomagnetic storm. We'll have to, to see how strong it gets. We could possibly see auroras pushed all the way down into Oklahoma, Arkansas, Tennessee, North Carolina, Las Vegas. We'll just have to wait and see as this could could be a G3 geomagnetic storm. Coming over here to the Parker Spiral, this thing tracks CMEs that are headed towards the Earth, and right there it is, a very large cloud of plasma that's over 200,000 miles wide. So it will easily engulf the Earth, and it's starting to do so right now as I do this video. Okay guys, I've got some other things that I want to share with you guys that are, that are also equally as interesting. Remember a couple of days ago I shared a, a photo with you guys of, of some bees that I found on my back patio that that appeared out of nowhere I was out on the patio earlier in the morning on that day and then I went back out that afternoon and I found eight bees laying on my back patio I've never seen that before and I want to ask you guys a question. Are you noticing bees laying around maybe your property, maybe at your local park, in your travels, if you're walking around your neighborhood on the sidewalks? If so, leave a comment down below in the comment section. I just received this video from David out of Livingston, Texas. It has narration. Here we go. Mr. MBB, today is April 14th, 8.55 in the morning. I got these flowers all over my yard, and I got honeysuckles over here on my power pole, and I ain't got no honeybees. Something's wrong, man. I see honeybees all the time this, this time of year. We're in trouble. This video was sent in by David out of Texas from yesterday, the 14th, and he's noticing a complete absence of bees on his property, and he normally notices a lot. So if you guys are noticing anything unusual about bees, leave a comment down below in the comment section. And by request, I have a flashing light phenomena video update to share with you guys. Guys, I have a folder that is now back up to 500 that I'm working on. I've shared up to this date nearly 500 
400 examples from all around the world. This map here is of the United States that shows 419 different locations of these flashing lights that are showing up rogue and random. Nobody knows when or where they're going to see them. And when they see them, sometimes they're quite surprised as they've seen the video footage of these lights showing up flashing all around the world, but they never thought that they would see them until they did. This first video is out of Elko, Nevada from yesterday, less than 24 hours ago by Billy, who pulled up to a car wash and what does he see? Dancing lights. Unbelievable. I've also got another video that I'll be sharing here in a couple of days from a car wash and the lights on the vacuum cleaners are flashing. They have nothing to do with street lights or, or lights on top of a building. These are the lights that light up the, the vacuum cleaner where you put the coin in. Those lights were flashing on all of the vacuums. This next video is out of the United Kingdom. It has narration. Here we go. Mr. BBB, this is back the West Yorkshire, England. As you can see, these lights are flashing. Yeah, but no other lights around are flashing. Just them. Now normally, oops, sorry. Now normally, it was just that middle one there. They were flashing. Now they're all flashing. Bit strange that. Very strange indeed. Going from the United Kingdom to Trenton, Ontario, this video was taken inside of a young lady's apartment. A mysterious flashing light. Okay, Mr. MBB. This is inside my apartment. It's April 5th from Trenton, Ontario, Canada. I've never seen this before. Weird. Never seen it before. Describing it as weird, that's the first time she'd ever encountered anything like that. And going from Canada to Huntsville, Alabama, this video was sent in by Joan H. from 412 of 2025. Their TV started malfunctioning. I've seen computers malfunction. I've also seen TVs malfunction. This is like the second or third video I've gotten of, of televisions malfunctioning. Again, this is very rogue and random. You never know when or where it's going to show up. This next video is out of Rock Hill, South Carolina. It involves an entire city block. Are you serious right now? Never thought he was going to see it until he did. And then when he did see it, it was in quite dramatic fashion. An entire city block. He turned his car around to go back and check it out again. Here's another city block out of Long Island, New York. Video footage sent in by Annie from 413 of, of 2025, less than 48 hours ago. Driving down the road, much like South Carolina, the lights on both sides of the road flashing for unknown reasons. I mean, this is totally rogue and random. There's no way that this is faulty equipment. They all wouldn't have went faulty at the same time. 
something is causing them to malfunction. These flashing lights all around the world are trying to tell us a story. Something is causing them to malfunction. What that something is has yet to be determined, but we're following this very, very closely. Video number seven out of Akron, Ohio, sent in by Rick. He too didn't think he would ever see it until he did. All right, so Mr. B3333, we're in the proximity of Akron, Ohio, and I finally found something that I could share with you. So we've got blinking lights. Actually, this one, this one too. So actually the whole lot is, is flashing. It's still daylight, so it's hard to see, but yeah. So Akron, Ohio, whatever's going on is affecting us here too. Thanks for what you do. And thank you, Rick, for sharing that video. Right there's an example of an entire parking lot. Lights flashing for unknown reasons, rogue and random, just like the lights we saw that expanded over a city block. This isn't showing any signs of slowing down. If anything, it seems to be intensifying. Here's video number eight out of Moore, Oklahoma. Karen Factor from less than 24 hours ago. She stepped outside, looked across the street, and noticed a light on her neighbor's house. She had never seen it flash before, until last night. I mean, this is getting really weird. I'm working on a video right now that a, that a man sent in of lights that he noticed while driving down the road that turned purple. And they're supposed to be like a normal white light. So if you guys happen to run across any of these freaky flashing lights, this is a phenomenon that is happening all around the world. By all means, grab a video if you can, and I'll put your location on the map, and you can send your videos to reports at MrMBB333.com. If they're too big to attach to the email, come over here to the homepage of the website. Look for this red tab that says, have a large video. It's a Dropbox. Drag and drop your videos into the Dropbox. Please include your first name, date, and location, and I'll take it from there. Thanks for watching. Have a super day, and be safe out there.